Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to modify this main and actually print out a page that you know we're going to use to 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 show our user's account. So instead of main, I'm going to say account, which will be the folder, and then the account home will be home.html. So now let's go ahead and create this folder. So new directory, account, and then inside of account, new HTML file, home. Okay, we can delete all of this, and as usual, we can say extends off of main.html and again we can say block title and block and we can say hello and here we're going to leave this blank because we are going to change this and use the username so we will say in my case we'll say hello michael and we'll add the exclamation mark we will we will figure out how to do this in a couple of videos Okay, the same thing, block, content, and block. Okay, good. So now we need to build out our page, which will contain the recipes that we post when we post them. But first of all, it will contain a button to actually post a new recipe. So I'm just going to say div class container, div class row to create a row. And inside, I'm going to add the h2, and I'm going to say your recipes. Okay. After this first row, I'm going to create another row, so div class row again. And here's where we actually add a button. Now, before we add this button, I highly encourage you to go ahead and download the, the style.zip file, which I have attached to the lecture notes. And go ahead and extract it to the CSS directory uh, in our project because we're going to be using now classes which are custom and I don't want to spend too much time on the videos explaining how these classes work but you know so so just go ahead and, and download the, the zip file and navigate to your project so in my case this project app engine yum search 2 default static and CSS so here is the file now if we go ahead and inspect the file You'll see it's just a, a bunch of CSS and, and I've changed the background color. By the way, feel free to modify all these colors. Feel free to modify the the, the styles as well. Just for the purpose of, of going a little bit faster and not getting into too much detail about CSS, I've decided you know to just pre-write this file and, and, and hand it over to you guys. Okay, so so just download it and 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 save it in your CSS directory. Okay, so now we have to create the link which takes us to the page where we can actually create a new recipe. So we can say a, because this will be a link. href will be forward slash account, because it's, it's a page where we are restricted to being logged in. And then new recipe, or new dash recipe. So now we can say div class call lg3, because I want it to be three columns wide. And I will add my custom class of new recipe, which is, by the way, provided in this style, which I have told you to, to import. So if you don't get, if, if, if you don't find this new recipe style, that's because you haven't imported properly your style CSS. And by the, by the way, speaking about importing the style, we need to actually go ahead and import it into our project. Because one thing is that PyCharm recognizes that this file is in our project, but the other thing is that the HTML or the web application knows it's here. So we have to actually import it here too. So we have to say style. Okay, now this will be working. And so let's go back. Okay, inside of this div, let's create another div of class post new recipe. And finally, here we can add actually we can add our messages. So first thing, I'm going to add a huge icon. So I class fa fa plus. Okay. And I want to make it big. So fa five x. Okay. Sorry, we don't need to actually open this up. And the next thing I want to add is the h three. So a header three, which says post new recipe so for now we'll leave it at that in the future we will actually add uh, recipes that we may have posted 
but first let's actually post the recipe and then let's add that functionality here.